What is going on my people? My people people and my plant people. So I know you probably noticed right off the back we are at a different angle, but today I got something special. Um, let me just introduce you to this side because we typically don't see this side. This is my Plant Life Lex uh, Terrarium. I got my two kickers over here, right here. This is my Patricia. Um, over here, these are all my allocations. You can see how big they are right here. These are the small plants I keep talking about. So I got some small plants in there. And this gonna be the background today because um, y'all are going shopping with me today. But before we get into that, how are y'all doing? Okay. Uh huh. All right. All right. Well, I'm hoping that it get better. I'm hoping that uh. You know what I'm saying? It don't keep stressing you out. If it's stressing you out, if not, let it go. Let it go, let it go. But um, like I said today, we are shopping today is a Friday. I just saw four clients and one of my clients, the last one did not show up. So I'm okay with that one. I was gonna do this video on yesterday, which would have been Thursday. This is when, um, and it's most important because Plant Life Lex usually has a subscription or uh, like an email or whatnot. Um, and I'll show you guys that the weekly mailing list or whatnot. And I got me some graduation money. So I wanted to use about $200 worth, 200, 250. We're going to see what that look like. All right. We're going to see what that look like. And I want to go shopping on here because I have not bought online plants in at least six months if not longer than that or whatnot because i know for the winter time i didn't really too much buy into anything like that so it probably been longer than six months but i'm going to break my plant online fast with plant life lex if y'all know me y'all know i love my girl lex um i think that she is you know i feel like she's an amazing person a genuine person um yeah she's a good friend uh, or online friend, you know, we don't know each other in person, so I don't want to, you know, but um, I want to go shopping today. So y'all go go shopping with me or whatnot and we'll go make this work. So um, there are some stipulations that I got to do because I do need some plant uh, poles. I really like the plant poles that she got. I want another box and that should really be it. So those, of course, are going to be included in the pay. So um, got to go ahead and do those two first. And then we're going to shop around. We're going to look at some plant merch. We're going to look at some uh, plant shopping stuff or whatnot. And we're just really going to get into it. So if you have some things to do, um, go ahead and grab that. Hopefully you love this video by the end. That makes you subscribe like it and loving it and commenting because why would you not want to hang out with Jumon, Jumanji's plants? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. So, first place we end up, of course, is on plantlifelex.com, which um, you can go ahead and look that up or it's going to be down in the description. So, it'll just bring you up to it. So, from the home, we're just going to check things out because I haven't looked at this in a long time and she got some beautiful beautiful plants up here you know what i'm saying 10% off of all orders over $150 i could use a coupon you know what i'm talking about check out 158 you gotta tell me twice you ain't gotta tell me twice okay so we go through we see some shipping information got some plants some things already sold out that kind of make me sad that's kind of make me sad i know a lot of things will definitely um, be sold out. Cause if you're not on that mailing list, you don't really want to win. I'm gonna tell you right now, you really don't want to win because she got some great stuff in here. Okay, she got the different bags, the one pound, two pound, three pound. Let's get in that some soy list, uh, soy free aroid mix. Gotta have it, gotta have it. Down here, some horticultural charcoal, got some pre-washed LECA, coarse perlite. Oh, they look like the big, the big ones too. Yeah, they look like the big ones. Then the custom made pond. I ain't gonna lie, I should have been bought pond, but 
It's just not me right now. Okay, got them clear pots. I will tell y'all, I got some pots from uh, Plant Life Flex, and those are the good ones right now. I have a surplus of pots, so I'm good on the pots right now. So I'm gonna keep on moving, you know what I'm saying? So next we got uh, some plant accessories. So we got some seedling propagation trays, got the 12 cells, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that's gonna work now. Got the acrylic transplant, uh, transparent um, trellis. So that's cool. You know, we're gonna get us a plant case today. You know what I'm talking about? And then we need some of them poles, so I'm gonna grab some of them poles up off, you know what I'm talking about? So, we got some merchandise shop. Okay, okay. Do need a new little shirt. Can't be mad at that. Got the winter shopping stuff. We ain't gotta worry about winter shopping. And then the shipping upgrade and all. Go ahead and send me that. When you gonna send me that? Right here is really important too, right? So you get uh, the newsletter, go ahead and slide down, right? Got your first, last name, email. That's all it take. That's all it takes. She ain't asked for too much. You know what I'm talking about? First name, last name, email. You know, what I'm, I'm on it. Make sure, make sure you sign up. I'm, I'm already on there. You know. So then we got some YouTube videos and then some Instagram feeds and stuff like that. So that's pretty fire. So we're gonna shoot back up to the tit up, right? So actually, you know, I'm gonna shoot back down and we're gonna go ahead. To this plant accessories uh like we had already talked about okay went to another uh, that was a hyperlink to go ahead and push me off okay so what i need first is one of these right quick go ahead and add this over here okay so the acrylic plant uh plant display case aka plant propagation box y'all know i use mine to make a terrarium you already know what I'm probably gonna do again. You know what I'm talking about? 2650, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Got the measurements on there. Um, got enough little information. And I know one thing, cause I just got done watching the video. She go through and make sure that all these propagation boxes ain't cracked and all that stuff like that. So go, hey, I appreciate you. You know, I had to slide down here and show myself some love. You know what I'm talking about? Jumanji's plants recognize jumanji's plants okay we got plant life let breezy plants and tings we got k is brit and we got uh ella mary l come on now we a hey, i ain't gonna lie now come on now hey ain't no contest but I ain't go, I ain't go, I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna be like that. But no, all I need is one. So let me go ahead and get that added. Booyah, got it to my cart. Okay, double back. Is that still on there? Let me go back here again. Okay, got my one cart right there. Next thing we need to do, I need some of them poles. These poles are really good poles. They really, um, they're really, um, they're really solid poles. I like how, um, I like the frosted ones. I don't too much care for the white ones because I want to see the roots. So either I'm getting the clear ones or the frosted one, I'm going with the frosted. Just know your boy going with the frosted, okay? So we got some new styles and colors, moss poles, clear, frosted, clear, and white. So we got two pack, or we got the four pack extended and size adjustable. From 1150, let's see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. So size wise, I guess I'm getting a small color. Go ahead and get that frosty. Go ahead and get that frosty. I'm gonna go ahead and get that four pack, you know what I'm talking about? How much that four pack hitting on? Okay, we got some reviews down here, you know what I'm talking about? Got the four pack. Let's see what we looking at right now. Okay, we at the 47. We good right now. We good right now, okay. Got that. I might, I might double back and grab, you know what I'm saying, two of them things, cause really, for real, my poles, them poles go, go, go quick. They gonna go quick, you know what I'm talking about? So, I'm gonna psych up out of here real quick, so I got my two right there. Now we gonna go ahead and look at the plants. Yeah, now we in the plant shop. Go ahead, we got the, we got the three pager, okay. So next shipping date, got all that. Got some shop apparel, tote bags, you know what I'm talking about? So, okay, 
What kind of plants is your boy looking for? Okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Get uh, check out these plants and see what's uh, see what she got going on here. All right. So first thing we got up this Anthurium pappy. I ain't gonna lie to you for eighty five. That's a steal. That's a real good steal. I think I'm looking at the one on the right, right? That blue pappy. I don't know. Cause they both looking real good. They large six cents. I don't know. They both, they both can get it. They both, I think I'm looking at the one on that right though. I like that little teardrop um, at the bottom. Looking real good to me. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep on moving on, but I'm gonna check that out. Now that Anthurium um, Pappy Dark, that's a beautiful plant there. That's a real 150, that ain't bad. I'm getting into my Ethereum, so I know that that's a good price. That's a good price. I don't know now. Nah. You see one of them sold out, so you know it gotta be something. You know, and they got the they got the less expensive one. But I don't know. I don't know. We gon we gonna see guys. We gonna see what that be like. Ethereum, Clarinervium. I already got a few of those, so I don't need none of that. Okay, so we got these uh Hoya Sunrises. Sunstress at that now that's really beautiful now. Forty bucks ain't bad. That's a that's a lot of uh Hoya man. You go ahead and put that thing on a nice little trellis, you got it now. That's a nice little build up right there. That's a nice little build up right there. Hoily uh Hoya Polynuria Broguette Silver. I got one already, so I'm gonna chill out. They already sold out, so I'm gonna back off anyway. That Sarawak, very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Them shiny leaves will get me every time. Them shiny leaves get me every time. I already got one, so I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna chill out. But them sunstress, yeah, yeah. Sunstress get me. Sunstress. It's like the Hoya is variegated almost to me. You know what I mean? When you like sunstress it or whatnot, and it had that like kind of, yeah, that like red in there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. I've been seeing her on these videos talking about these variegated uh, alocasias. Very impressed. Lex, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. You know what I'm saying? When you got it, you got it. You feel me? So, alocasias pink dragon, gorgeous. The most, the, let's get into this real quick. Let me get into this. Dude, she got a picture that close up on the, where is that, where is that? Right here. Look at that stem. Look at, the stem, I know it's variegated on top of the leaves and all that stuff like that, but the pink dragon with that right there, and then you go ahead and you throw on this variegation. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go wrong now. You cannot go wrong. Now the Yucatan princess, I got one little, one little scent in me that I feel like, um, I think I'm good off of them. I, I, I got one of them, right? And it's in my, um, it's in my, uh, what that thing is, my humidity little dome. And every time I take it out, it just dies back. And I didn't know that this plant needed a lot of humidity. Maybe not these right here, maybe they broken in. Um, because I know Lex, usually doesn't you know put a lot of her plants in like humidity don't you know what i'm saying they kind of sit out and chill behind her but the one that i got listen to me mm -mm. i can't double back you know what i'm saying that one right there dies back it's good you can have it you know what i'm saying but i got one it's not variegated it's just a regular type one i was giving to it or i was i was giving it or whatnot so it's doing all right it's doing all right. We're doing good. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it just like that. I'm going to move on. Okay. But a variegated pink dragon. Go ahead and get into it now. Not a Sonata. A Sonata. Variegated. A variegated. Looking real gorgeous. I'm liking how it is. Um, can't be really mad at the price. Because if you check on the prices, that's actually... It's a deal. 
as well as the allocation of black velvet. I apologize for all the young and I don't know, a little tight, you know what I'm saying? But I think for sure I would go with that black velvet just cause it got that little, that little splash pink or whatnot. Very, very different. Very, very different. And that's a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous lead. Both of them, no matter the one on the left, no matter the one on the right, both of them can get it, if I'm being very honest with you. Both of them can get it. Not a Sonata, not a bad one. I got one, not variegated, but it's a nice one. It grows very, very well. So I would imagine that this one does too. So 350, not too bad. I'm an alocasia, um, I'm an alocasia person. So you know I might gotta pull up on this one. Definitely might gotta pull up on it. Can't do it now, cause obviously it's over what I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, what I'm trying to do. But don't be fooled. It's very gorgeous. Nah, okay. So I've been loving these right here, man. These Epipremnum Panatum Yellow Flames. I've never seen them until I was watching Lex's videos. And wow, man. I tell you what, this one right here, let's get into this one real quick. Cause I see something I want to show y'all. Where is it at? Could I, could I see it? Could I see it? Could I see it? Right here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. That right there, ready. Oh, it got a pole. That's why it's doing that. Okay. Hey, that one ready for a moss pole now. That one ready for a moss pole. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You can cut that off right there and hey, you can get a little money back now. Cause that thing going ham and I've been seeing like it get like the outside um, it's been getting like the outside uh, fenestrations and I've been seeing like the little pinholes in them too. Pinholes happen when it very, when it's, um, when it's, uh, what's that thing called? When it fenestrates and then it fenestrates with the little pinholes on the inside. Really gorgeous. Definitely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get into this mint. This monster mint. I definitely might have to double back on it. That is an absolutely astonishing gorgeous leaf let me tell you something and in the monstera form like that's a monstera obviously right but when they get into that form y'all know what i'm talking about that leaf or those leaves like that it's gonna be absolutely perfect absolutely perfect i would definitely get into something like that might gotta double back i've earned it i have earned it you know what i'm saying so um we're going to check you out. Now, I know that she's going to have another one on here, so I ain't even worried. We ain't going to get it this time because that'll be over what we're doing. And y'all know what we're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Trying to buy a lot at this, at a certain price, okay? So, but it's Rafa the Four, Tetrasperma Variegata. Hey, I'm going to let you know. It's a uh, Rafa the Four, so that means the, the winning is possible. The winning is great on this plant because it's going to grow pretty fast. You know what I mean? So when I see this plant, I'm thinking, mm. you know what I'm saying? If I'm a Raffa the Four type person, I know it's gonna grow fast. You know, you know, and I know that it's gonna grow fast. So go ahead and get into it. Don't be scared of it now. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. But that's a beautiful plant, man. That's a beautiful plant. Let's get into this Monstera Aurea. I think, do I got my Monstera Aurea now? I think that one died back, if I'm not mistaken. I think I only had two. I think I got the Todd Cunts and I got the Albo. So I need one. I need one. You know what I'm talking about? I need one. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Another game, uh, Texas Sperma got the low variegation, the burly marks. Let me tell you something. I got a burly marks and uh the variegated one or whatnot it was given to me or whatnot i think i wanted out of like a giveaway or something like that and um i pretty much didn't keep it in like really good conditions i ain't gonna lie on it you know what i mean and um it hasn't been doing the best for me but um i'm, I'm gonna definitely put it in a place where i can get it to grow in a really good um condition or whatnot right now um i'm still working on it so I'm like moving things around. I think I'm we'll probably get it into my Ikea greenhouse. Well, no, my Ikea kicker. No, no, no. My Ikea, um, what's that thing called? The Detolf. There we go. I got so many Ikea products, but I'm gonna put in the Detolf and I think that's gonna make it take off. Cause in there, there's a lot of uh, humidity pretty much. Um, usually about 70, 80% or whatnot. So 
I think that that's gonna work out pretty well for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. But that Oreo, it was really nice and at a really good price too. I'm telling you that mint. Look at that leaf. Could you imagine that leaf? Put that, think of, use your mind, boom. Put that on a bigger monstera leaf. Can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it. Let's keep on going. Got the Hoya RHM 066 Mary Alice with the trailers. With the trailers. I'm not looking for the Hoyas. That's not really my dig anyways, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's pretty. It's pretty. Don't get, don't get me wrong. So we got this allocation. We got a nice little uh, Ethereum. We got a nice little mix. Got this crystalline put down. Really beautiful. Got the kind of softer leaves or whatnot. So I think that'd be really good to put on the outside over here somewhere. That would be really nice. 85, not bad. Six inch pot. Got some time to grow. You got some time to grow. Now these cute little El Chacos for the 35, can't be mad at these ceilings now. Hey, get up on the ceilings now. Get up on the ceilings. Cause they gotta grow. They gotta grow. Whenever I'm thinking about getting ceilings, I'm like, you know, if if it's if it's for either getting like bigger leaves or ceilings, I go with the medium. I ain't gonna lie to you, I probably go with a medium, you know what I mean? So small to medium ain't bad. The larger one, cause it already grew to its size, you know what I mean? So it don't give me the chance to be big, big papa plant daddy, you know what I mean? So I go for something like this. 35, ain't bad. I don't know when the last time I had me El Chaco, so you know what I'm saying? We on the second page, we out here, here we go. Come on now, that Philodendra Red Anderson, White Knight and the Pink Princess, I tell you what, man. Um, my pink princess doing real good and my white knight seem like it's coming back. So you know what? That ain't bad. I can see that being with my lower plants right now. So, you know, when I be buying stuff, I'll be like, where I'm gonna put it at? Cause I got so many dang on plants. I got so many dang on plants. So I'm like, where I'm gonna put it at? Ah, oh, okay. In my mind, I know where that. And I can see it right over there. I can see it right over there. I'm trying to tell you. So that, that be helping. Don't it, don't it help you out when you know you got somewhere to put it? Be like, oh, where I put it? Boom, right there. So. Um, Albo 105 ain't bad. Look at them roots. Ooh! Stop playing with them roots. That's sexy. That's the best these got. Ooh! So I like this also because there's the combination of the perlite, right? So you got the nice, uh, thick, chunky perlite with the, uh, shadow. Always gonna work well. That's why these, uh, roots. Are probably so nice and thick. I'm surprised the leaf ain't come out of it just yet. Cause that root is rooting now. But mustard elbow is kind of slow. So I know I get maybe a leaf three months, four months, something like that. Like it, for me, they don't grow that fast. I don't know what it is. And then I got, I'm been using my silica. So with my variegated stuff, and I will take, well, with my variegated uh, mustera tie and the um, elbow. It's been doing really well, so I will definitely recommend silica. I've been using it for like six months or more, and I will say variegated leaves that have been coming out have been really good, spot on. So, you know, I recommend that one. Now, this Friday for the 55, that's a, that's a deal now. Don't get it twisted. That is a deal. So, I don't know, you boy might double back. Boy, my dough back. We on this domestica variegated. My domestica variegated is doing real good right now. So I'm not gonna mess with me another domestica. I love the plant. Um, and I do have doubles of plants. So I want you to think I don't have doubles of plant. But down right there, I'm just chill off of. I got one. So, you know, I'm good off of it right now. Just right now. I can't tell you what I'm gonna do later. But just right now, I'm good on it. So, but it's a gorgeous plant. And I think that that is a really great price. A very, very good price, and especially what it got three, four leaves on it. You can see like a leaf kind of growing into that. And I would imagine that like it's four leaves right now. I will probably throw two more on just because I know like her conditions and how she grow thing. And I just know that it's probably some more leaves on there. So I will get into that now. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, the mesca look real good now. It look real good. My, my doing real good right now. You know what I'm saying? This uh, Epipremnum Panatum Marble. I got two that uh back here you probably can't see it or whatnot but i'm gonna put it on another um 
on another little episode or whatnot, another little video or whatnot, but it's looking real good. It's looking real good. And I think it might be finished right if I'm not mistaken, but I do, and I'm not mistaken because, well, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure because I have two of them. I could put them together. However, if I separate it, I could put it in two different spots and that might look good too. Tell me what your recommendation is. Should I put it both together or should I um, put them separate? Whatever y'all tell me to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knock that out. So if you give me a recommendation, I'm going to either put it together or I'm going to separate it. So if y'all don't give me one, I'm going to just come up with some roll of dice and that's just going to be it. But this is an absolutely gorgeous plant. I love these plants right here. You can't go wrong with it. Um, I mean, it's kicking butt right now. That's absolutely. And then it's epipernum, so it's going to grow. It's just absolutely going to grow. So um, I think you definitely going to get your money out of that. 125 not a bad deal. Not a bad deal let's keep on going so we got this shrunk we got that strawberry Ooh, shake strawberry Ooh, shake really good plant um it definitely is like a combination of a lot of different like the imperial the uh, white uh or the white knight the princess it's just like a combination of everything and it's a gorgeous plant um i'm not one to run to this plant but when I see it, I absolutely think it's a very gorgeous plant. I think a lot of people probably think maybe the same thing. And um, I would recommend it. I would truly, truly recommend it. I think that it's uh, a very gorgeous plant. I think on a pole, it's probably like really good too. Um, it's a, you know, philodendron. So I'm sure it's probably going to give you a few leaves a month. Maybe, maybe about two leaves. So that's a couple. Um, but it's a gorgeous one. Uh, so... Um, especially, especially in some really good conditioning, cleaning off the leaves. Like I think that's going to be really good in that variegation. Can't beat it. Very, very different. Very, very different. So, you know, go ahead and keep that one up. You know, the Alocasia Bambino Variegata. Got two of them right here with the low variegation looking real good for the 135. Um, I don't think you can really beat nothing like that. To tell you the truth, I think that that's a really good price. And I think the more and more you keep um treating it well i think that variegation probably gonna pop out and surprise the heck out of you for the 135 you know what i'm saying and then you're gonna get some bulbs so you're gonna multiply it too so looking real good you know i don't know if it need more light less light but i think you know somebody on youtube probably figured it out got the key so i don't know i'm a very i'm a uh, allocation person so i would get it personally i would get it you know what I'm saying? And then at a lower price, she made it low very, I mean, it, it's low variegated, so she probably charges at a lower price. I would get it. That's just how it work. Now, this allocation, Amazon and Kapali with a variegated. And pretty. Don't get me twisted. But, you know, um, I think there's some other allocations that I would spend, you know, $200 on, just like I told you about that uh, variegated, um, what it is, that Bambino. Or even this uh, dragon scale, I think that that's a very gorgeous plant um, that I would definitely put some money into. I think it's very pretty. It's a very, very pretty plant. It started to get that dark leaf and then it's kind of wilted a little bit, like it got that kind of shape to it. So for sure, I get into something like that. Um, I don't think that that can go wrong, if I'm being very honest with you. Next, we got the Alocasia Black Velvet, variegated, definitely a treat. Definitely a treat. I think we already kind of talked about it or whatnot, but definitely something on my radar. Definitely had a nice little leaf down there too. Um, you kind of see that half, almost half leaf, except for the little green at the bottom. But that's a pretty, that's a pretty one now. I mean, that variegation is very serious. Next, we're gonna get into this tie. I think that that's a really good price, especially for the size of that one or whatnot. I think that that's a really good one. Hey, ties may be coming down, but it's such a gorgeous plant, um, especially if you can get it to grow big. I know one of my friends, um, Autumn, has really great ties. And uh, I'm waiting for mine to, you know, size up and do all the magical stuff. But very, very gorgeous plant, I think. You know, that was one of her staple plants. Um, that Aurea, really great. Uh, mine kind of died back, so it wouldn't be uh, below me to go ahead and get another one. So might gotta put it on the list um very gorgeous plant um i like that green with that yellow um just as well as i like the green with the white so 
I don't think you can go wrong. We already talked about that. Uh, Broguette Silver. That tie right. Hey, now that's a good one. Now, is it already finished rated? Let me check it out. Yeah, it's already finished rated. So, $115, $50 more. Get a couple more leads and it's already variegated. I wouldn't even have to. You, uh, with the tie, uh, it's cool because like you only got to put it on a pole for quite some time um, because it stacks on each other, which is so cool. So, you know, I don't got a pole on mine right now. I'm going to wait till it's about to tip over the pot and then I'm going to put one on it because uh, with that one, I noticed that when you put it on a pole, um, it started to get a little linky sometimes, you know what I mean? But because it's stacked on top of each other as it's growing, it looks a little bit different. So I'll get into that. Now this monster over here, looking real good. Hoya Vitalonoids. I'm gonna go at that. Big Leaf, I don't know, $35. But I told y'all I'm not gonna buy any Hoyas right now. So maybe a little bit later, I still got my little plant swap thing to do at the end of the month. So we going up. Or whatnot got the Hoya Sunrise for the 30. That ain't too bad. You don't get the trellis, but hey, that's a good one. And then I mean, you get the repot, you get a nice little pot right there. So it's gonna sit for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get your own trellis. You see, they pretty and expensive. Ain't too bad. Hey, you get some chopsticks, really. Um, got this Hoya uh, uh, Anthurium Crystallinum Potatum. I already told y'all that's a go. That's a go. Nice little soft leaf on it. Got another little Bambino. Pretty. Ooh, that went to y'all. That wind T.I. go up now. The wind T.I. go up. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely get into that. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's over our limit. But your boy would get into that, so don't let me fool you. You know what I'm talking about? Dragon scale, a little bit smaller one at the variegated 155. For sure. I'm gonna double back. You know I'm getting it. You already know you boy. You know your boy gonna get it. We got another little hoy over here. Lauder Bachi. I'm gonna go with that one. Um, smaller leaves, so I'm not really into that one or whatnot. Got this uh, Mac, this Hoya Mac Gill. Um, I like that um, Sunstress. Really pretty. Really pretty if you're a Hoya person. I'm sure you're probably getting into that one right there. This Archie Ball, or Archie Bowl. That's pretty right there. Is that Sunstress or that's how the leaves look? That's gorgeous. Looks like it got a little variegation or something on it. I don't know. That's, that's pretty. Got a Hoya Tom Sun, Tom Sunny with the white flower. Hey, you gotta be very uh, specific. You know what I'm talking about? Got that white flower. I'm sure that's really pretty. Now, nah, come on now. Let's wrap it up for Mega Sperma. Real gorgeous. And then it's already getting, is that a hole or is it penetration? No, nah, that's penetration because it got it on both leaves. Yeah, now that's pretty now. Nah. Mm. With the plank and then she got one over here without the plank. So, hey, I told y'all now that Tetrasperma Variegata 225 already sold out. Don't be fooled. Now, that's a gorgeous plant. That's a gorgeous plant that you want on your hand. You want a nice little variegation that you can put around the house. Because I'm sure that thing going to grow up. You're going to be able to cut it, and that's going to be done. That thing going to be done. But I'm never out for the four Megasperma. Looking real gorgeous. i definitely get into that. And it look like, um, you know, it's on that one on that pole right there. So... I'm sure them leaves or the uh, roots are gonna start to, you know what I'm saying, touch the back of that pole and they're gonna start to grow. They're gonna start to go up from there. So I think that's gonna be real gorgeous. I think it's gonna be real gorgeous. One, 175 on one of them, 155 on the other. I think it's because of the plank difference or whatnot. So either one, I think gonna be a deal. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, and that one on the right side look real good too, this one over here. So that's real pretty. Either one would be a good deal to me. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even hold you. Either one would be a real good deal. This one right here on the right kind of reminds me of the Spathophyllum or Peace Lily Domino or whatnot with that variegation, kind of like that. And it's also kind of giving me a uh, Hoya, not Hoya, I'm sorry, the Thai Constellation almost. How it's kind of giving those type of stripes or whatnot, but real gorgeous. All right, we on the last page. Let's get into it. All right, we still got the oh, the Epipermum Gigantum now. Hey, still gorgeous. I like that variegation on it. I love that variegation on it. So both either either one of them can get it. Now this elbow, I feel like you can cut it right there. Go ahead and seep that in a pot. Keep that one right there. Double up on. Now this one right here is interesting. I just see all this white. Look at that. What? Cut it right here. 
Um, it already has roots grown out of it, right? Put that in a pot, keep this one right here. And that one, you gonna have an all white one and you gonna have this one right here too for the price of 149 or 145. Ain't bad. That's how I be shopping. I be thinking in my mind, I can chop this one up, boom, keep this one here. Boom, keep that one right there. And that's how I get it. That's how I be having it. That's how I be multiplying my pants. Now this one right here is Anthurium Regal and Luxurian can get it. You know what I'm talking about? It can get it. Do you see the abs on that plant? I know y'all see them abs on that plant. Unrealistic. That thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the price set is and all that stuff like that, but that is great. That is phenomenal. Got this Bessier AFF, you know what I'm talking about? AFF, um, very gorgeous plant. I like kind of like the softer leaves, that dark, uh, the dark green on it and it's velvety or whatnot. So I can get into that for 85, not too bad at all. I ain't gonna need hold you. I'm not gonna hold you to 85, is actually a really good price on it. Got the Bessie with the Negro Laminum GG. Got the Bessie GG. Got the Bessie GG. My GG doing okay. Right now, I put her, oh, I got her over here um, in my Anthurium kicker. So she doing real good right now. Um, just trying to get her straightened out, get some bigger, better leaves on there or whatnot. So we doing good on that one. That Bessie can go. Oh yeah, nice little, uh, nice another little red uh, Anderson. So that's very gorgeous. Can't be mad at that one. White princess, I mean white knight with the princess mix. All right, told y'all that's one for a go. So we gonna see what it what it's doing. That polypodio, polypodius. I think that's how you pronounce it. That is the like more expensive turtle. That's kind of how I think about it or whatnot. Um, a lot of plants got like a expensive more expensive one than it is, you know, cause Tortum really coming down. I can remember going to, um, what that is, Echo Jenner and them being like a hundred dollars for like a small one, you know what I mean? But now they're coming down a lot more or whatnot. I guess the propagation is a lot better. Maybe the ease of it, taking care of it is really good. So, you know, it came down, but that polypodiotis looking real good. It kind of got this kind of like dragon-like leaf almost. And then it, it, it's like the combination as well with um that tortum the tortum kind of leaves or whatnot so very very gorgeous plant very good and if you like uh kind of like um palms almost that's a really nice one you know what i mean if you think about it it grows up and has like those kind of like palm like leaves and if you put it on a pole or when it grow up or you hang it over kind of like a balcony type thing like i said if i dress it up i'm more than likely going by you know what i'm talking about um, okay, so now we got some more product down here. We got this Gigi, that Gigi looking real good. Um, I don't, I think I've had a Gigi once in life. I think they're a little difficult sometimes um, where they need a little humidity. I'm not sure how Lex has it or whatnot, um, but it's actually looking really good. Um, it's not the best philodendron that I would say, like my top five for sure, but it's very gorgeous. Um, and because it's already on a pole and things like that, she already got it established. Even better, even freaking better. So we got this Coco Hus, we got this Horticulture, we got this Pre Lucca. Um, got another little one down here, 50, uh, with the 99 and the 2000, you know what I'm talking about? Got this Candapsis Tribuli Moonlight Marble, looking real good, one already sold, so you know it's going ham. You know it's going ham. Um, they probably bought it because it got the three leaves, but that's cool. I will get on this one right here. That one, yeah, it's a leaf right there. And I've been doing really good with my Scandapsis. Definitely got to show y'all my black, my Scandapsis black. I'm going real good. I got it kind of hanging around um, my Detoff. It's kind of interesting, very, uh, very interesting look. That is Anthurium Magnif uh, Red Magnificum Poppy, uh, Pappy. Um, nice little hybrid mix, 145. Can't be bad. I think I have um, some plants that kind of look like it. So I'm looking for, I'm just looking for different, you know what I mean? Looking for a different little spice, but I wouldn't, you know what I mean? I'm sure that's gonna sell pretty quickly now. Now these pots, definitely get into them. So you got the round 9.5 with the air slits on the side. I like that one. I got a few of them. I got a few of them. So I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna go ham or whatnot. Then you got the round clear, you got the seven, 
You got the eight, you got the 2.5. You already know I got that one. You already know I got that one. Got a nice little gift card. You want to give somebody or whatnot. I've done it a couple of times for a few of my like giveaways or whatnot. So you can add more money um, on it or whatnot. So I like to do um, like digital money because you can go and you can buy whatever you want. So whenever I'm like um, doing raffles or not raffles, but um, giveaways or whatnot, I usually use something like that or whatnot. So, you know, you got some friends, got some, you want to get some plants out and stuff like that. So. I mean, it's a good deal. You already know I had to go ahead and get the Frosty 4-pack. The Frosty 4-pack, okay, down here we got the clear around 4, we got the clear around 6, got that 5.5 with the air slit, got the perlite, got the custom pond. I'm gonna get into the pond one day. Got that soil free over there, got the 4 and got the 5. So we came down to the end. What I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna unbox it. So really this gonna be a part one. So keep on supporting you, boy. Drop some information down below. Some things that I've asked a little forward or whatnot, which I think I should do with my epipremnum and stuff like that. If there's some plants on here that you would definitely buy, some plants that you will get into, definitely drop down what you think I'm gonna buy. Definitely drop down what you think I'm gonna buy because I'm very interested now with y'all because some of y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? Julian, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Who my other people? Carla, you already know my Cathy's. What's going on with y'all? Um, and I appreciate y'all coming through. Always with your boy. If you stay to the end, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Bing, bing, bing. You know what I'm saying? Like it. Thumbs up. You already know. And comment down below because we like to talk to each other in the comment section. So go ahead and uh, drop that down below and let's go ahead and get it. And as always, love, peace, and plants.